All right, today we're going to be looking at an app called OnePlace. This app is available for iPhones and Android phones. Now, I already have this app installed, but if I didn't have it installed and you're on an iPhone, what you want to do is go to the App Store and just type in OnePlace. You can choose the top one there. And when you do, it'll pull this up. Make sure you're picking this one right here, this icon. It's OnePlace. I think the full name says uh, OnePlace Christian Audio. Now, if you didn't already have this installed, it would say get the app right here. But since I already have it installed, I'm just going to click open. And when I do, we're going to kind of walk through the different menu items down here to kind of show you the app. So the first thing is just to show you this All Ministries, and you can see it's highlighted right now. So it's going to scroll across, showing you some of the recommended ministries that they would, uh, that they would have to choose from. But you can also see the full list if you scroll down the list here. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to scroll down through here. It's a wide assortment of ministries that are out here and available. And uh, so I'm just going to scroll way down to the very bottom just to show you. I know you can't read them, but just to show you that it's a, a very long list of available ministries. So once you go through and you select ministries that you like, you would do what's called follow that ministry. So uh, I've got one ministry that I follow, but I've gone ahead and taken them off to be able to show you for demonstration purposes. So if you want to follow Tony Evans in the alternative, you can click on that. So what it will do, it will go ahead and start his latest message that's out here. But what we want to do is we want to show you how you can follow a ministry. So if I click on follow, All right, and now if I go back, he's still in the list, but if you go down to the very bottom and you see this following menu item, if I click on that, now it's gonna show all the different ministries that, that I've marked to follow, and then I can go to all of the messages that they have. So let me go back to uh, Tony Evans for just a minute. So as I've clicked on that, you can see that this is ready to play and pick up right where we left off when I first clicked on his, his item there. But you can also scroll up and you can see here there's an archive of all the items that he's given a message on re in recent times. I'm not sure how far back it goes in time. This looks like it goes back to June 1st right now. So I'm currently in, at the end of June, June 30th. So it looks like it keeps the last month's worth of information out here. So the great thing about it is I can go to any of these items. Let's say I want to look at faith over fear. I can click that. Are you growing in this quarantine? So now Are that's what's playing. Your fear? Dr. Tony Evans says God has given. Now what's a great feature that they have here, and this is why I really recommend this app is, um, if you click down here, just select this, this area right here it's going to pull up some playback controls that are quite handy. So you can rewind the last 15 seconds or go forward 15 seconds. So this is really great when you didn't quite catch something and you want to go back and listen to it again. This facilitates that greatly. You can also use this scrub bar so you can scrub and just water on the boat grab it and, that was threatening and, their physical lives. and physically move it to go to a certain spot in the timeline. But there again, the most usual practice for playback controls would be just these navigation controls right here. So I can play it. Okay, it's like this virus that threatens our physical well. I can rewind it 15 seconds time. just by touching this there, button right here. Don't you care? How can you be quiet and the winds and the waves? Go forward. The water on the eternal storm. You can affect the playback volume by dragging the slider. Now, one thing I want to warn you about is if you exit the app, you cannot pick up and play this message exactly where you left off. So right here, I'm at the 842 minute mark. If I exit this app uh, entirely and then try to come back and play this message, it's going to start back at uh, the very beginning. Now, of course, if you just switch from this app to another app without actually closing this one, you could then come back to this app and pick up right where you left off. Now, another great feature is, let's say you're listening to a message and you know that's something that someone would really enjoy listening to. 
you can actually come up here and click on share and it will sh you can share the message either through uh, airdrop uh, through a text message through an email you can even save it to your notes for an easy way to come back to that message in the future it would just provide a link to that let me show you that right now I guess if I click on notes and I say so here's this message listen to the broadcast faith over fear on the one place app I'm just gonna go ahead and save that as a new note so if I want to see what that looks like on an iPhone and saving that message to a note I'm just going to switch over to my notes app. I'm not closing the program, just switching over. So this is where it puts the note. It has a little write up of what the message is about. It also has a link that you can just click on this link and it will take you directly to that message. And for those that don't have the app downloaded yet, it even gives them a link of how to download the app. So it's really quite handy. Are you growing in this quarantine or are you con Yep, so it took me back to the very beginning. Of course, that's where you would want it to take you if you were sharing this message with some friend. All right, not only can you share a specific message, but you can actually share someone that you're following. Let's say that you're looking at uh, Dr. David Jeremiah. You see these three little dots right there? If you were to click on those, you can say, hey, you can either unfollow the ministry since I'm following him. Of course, I don't want to do that, but you can also share the ministry. So you share this, it's not just going to share a specific message, but it will share a link to his main page within this app. So that can really be handy if you're wanting to forward something to someone who may not be familiar with that teaching ministry. All right. So now I'm going to show you how you can go and go to a specific message let's say it says Tony Evans message right here and if I want to have this available for playback later when I don't have internet connectivity I'm just going to click on this download it's going to show that it was saved and the way you would get to that in the future is just click on this back arrow key here and come down here to the playlist so any of the messages that you've downloaded will show up here in this playlist and to start the message all you got to do is click on it are you growing in this quarantine or are you controlled by your fear? Dr. Click. Tony Evans says God has given each of us. And click right here in this area to bring up your playback controls and you're right where you need to be. To remove a message from a playlist, all you have to do is come back to the playlist itself. So make sure you're down here and the playlist is highlighted. Click these three little dots and you can say remove from playlist. All right, now let's look at search. An important thing to realize when you're using the search feature is you can enter a minister's name or the radio program name in the search box, but you cannot search by topic. So up here, if you just come up here and activate the search bar, and I'm gonna be looking for, let's say, David Jeremiah. So you can type his first name or his last name. Let's say I'm just gonna type his first name right here. So I type in David and I see that there's two of them out here that, that I could choose from, but I want this one, Turning Point. So I'm just going to press on that. There again, you could scroll down and go to any of the messages that, that are available on the platform at this time. All right, so now I want to show you about settings. So we're going to go back to kind of the, the home menu here, the All Ministries page. And up here in the top right, you see there's a little gear uh, icon here, so I'm going to go to that. Now you can see that I'm logged into my OnePlace account. This is a free account when you sign up. You will definitely want to do that and make sure that you have signed into your account. This will ensure that you can get to any ministries you follow and any downloads you have added to your playlist. So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go ahead and log out. When you first come into the app, first time you've ever used it, it's going to want you to sign in. And when you sign in, it's going to want you to either set up and create a new account or sign in with an existing account. Well, here's where you're going to go at the very bottom if you've not had an account yet. Create an account. So you just do your email, password, confirm it, first, last name, so forth. Or you can sign in with Google. And I'm just going to sign in with Google continue 
I'm going to choose the account that I want to use. And so now I'm signed in. Now, another thing that you can do is you can turn on notifications. So right here, you can see that notifications are turned off. But if I press on that, turn that on, I've activated my notifications. But you may also need to go into your actual phone settings to make sure that that app has notifications turned on. So I'm going to switch over right now to my settings on my phone. So now on an iPhone, I'm in my settings page. And I'm just going to have to scroll down until I get to all the apps that are listed on my iPhone. So I'm going to scroll way down, get to one place. Okay, so there it is. I'm going to go ahead and choose one place. And you can see right here that notifications are turned off. So I've got to go into my iPhone settings and say allow notifications. And here you can allow the lock screen, the notification center, and your banners. So um, you can also choose your banner style, what have you. So any of these options that you're familiar with already. So now I'm going to go back to one place. So I'm just going to exit out of my settings. And now I'm back in one place. All right, the rest of this, it's just you can go in here and look to see what you want to look at and do. Terms of service, how to contact them, privacy control. Uh, you can delete any messages. So I'm going to show you where those messages are and what they are. I'm going to X out of the settings. And so if I come up here, I can see I've got a little red one here uh, on, on the envelope indicating that there's a message there. So if I click on that or press on it really, it's going to pull up any messages that I have. The red message indicates that I've got one unread message right here. It's turned blue. If I select that message, then I can read it. And they're offering a free ebook here. So you could give your name, email, so forth, and get a free ebook here from this particular ministry. So some free resources for you if that's something that you would like to do. All right, I'm just going to real quickly mention one tip I found helpful for me. It has nothing to do with the app One Place, but it's pertinent to what you're seeing right here. I would highly recommend that everybody have at least three email addresses. One address should be for personal use, those people that you want to be able to communicate with you, family, friends, so forth. And another email address that you use strictly for uh, accounts like something like this, I don't want it to be, I don't want to give them my personal email address. I'm going to give them an account that I set up that's just for an account like this. And then another email address that I use for when somebody is forcing me to give my email address, but I have no intentions of ever opening up anything that they send me. And I just call that my junk email address. So I just typically use like my name, with ACCT to indicate that it's my account email address. And, and if it's just my junk one, I do my initials, my name with just junk at the end. And uh, that way I can keep up with things rather easily. So that's just a free little tip thrown in here. All right, I'm just gonna click done here. We're back to our message center. I'm gonna click this. So if I wanted to delete all of my messages, I would have to go into settings and, and it would delete each one of these right here. But I'm just gonna leave those out there for now. It doesn't bother me that they're there. All right, one more thing to mention to you, and that is this icon right here. If you press that, it's gonna pull up different apps that they have by the same company that produces the OnePlace app. So here you can see Salem App Store, You've got Bible study tools. You could get that if you want. Scroll down. They've got something called Cross Cards. They've got something called Crosswalk.com, a Bible quiz app, and something called Light Source. And actually, this one I do have already. So when you click Get right here, it's going to take you to the App Store. I'm not sure what that will look like on an Android phone. Um, but if I click Get, it opens up the App Store. And here you can either download it. In my case, I've already got it. And so you could open it from here. So LightSource is a video app and it has this, some of the same, not all of them, but some of the same ministries that are showing up here in one place are also found in LightSource. The only difference is it has video, not just audio. So what you'll notice is if I come down to the 
ones that I'm following and scroll down, you'll see that some of these ministries are also included in Light Source. So one place has only audio recordings, teachings. Light Source, it's video. Some of the same information that's on one place is also found in Light Source, but not a complete list. Matter of fact, Light Source might have some resources that are not found in one place. All right, I hope this video has been helpful for you. Please subscribe to this channel and look for other videos on how you can use technology to draw near to God.